Uh, really around the age of eight was a time where full-fledged, all songwriting, singing, everything really started to take place. Um, that's when I first really knew that this is what I want to do for my life. And that's when I started watching Idol and I knew that I really wanted to be on the show. It was my dream, my biggest goal that I've ever, ever had up until that, that time. And uh, finally, 10 years later, finally got to, got to do it. I was on season 10 and I made it to the top 16. I actually came back right in the nick of time, right before baseball started, probably the week before. And I uh, got right back in the field and the first day back I took about 300 swings uh, with one of my friends pitching to me. And uh, it was a great feeling just to get back with the guys and uh, just start playing the game I've always loved. When I was young, it's interesting because my first dream was always to play Major League Baseball. So it's funny because every time I'd write down, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up, um, they'd give you one option and I'd always write Major Leaguer, but then under it I'd put professional musician, recording artist. So baseball was really my first love. I've been fortunate enough to play on varsity since I was in ninth grade. Um, I started every game since I was a freshman on varsity. Been all county twice. I've been really fortunate to uh, just to have the success that I've had. I mean, I actually probably started back <laughs> when I was younger, just rolling a ball in the hallway with my dad. I knew I always had a love for sports just back then, but um, serious baseball started probably around the age of nine. We worked so hard together. We, uh, our goal at the end of our 12-year-old season was to play on national TV uh, in the Little League World Series. And we got really close. We actually beat the team that went on to play on TV. Uh, we beat them 9-2 in a state championship game. And we had to beat them twice. And unfortunately, we lost the second game to them. And they went on to play on TV. Ever since, I've been a part of incredible teams. We won three Long Island championships in a row. We won a state championship, a national tournament. Um, just with my school team two years ago, we won the Nassau County Championship. As the baseball team of our school, like it just feels great knowing that we have the power to uh, to kind of bring our school some fame. Robbie, as a baseball player, has a definitely different persona as a musician or singer, uh, just because sports are definitely more intense. Um, you know, I still feel the same positive pressure, the positive stress, whether I'm singing or playing ball, but I think um, I'm definitely a more intense person on the field because you are playing for a team, you're playing to win games, uh, not just put on a good performance. So there's definitely a bit of intensity there and uh, it's, it's drive, it's passion. Like you see me laying out for a ball or like really just getting into the game. That's just because I uh, got my teammates behind me and like I'm really psyched and really into the game. So it's definitely, definitely a big difference, but uh, still the same kid <laughs> whether I'm on the field or on the stage. I think both success on the idol stage and on the diamond, I think they're both really closely related just because no matter what I do, it always feels great to be rewarded after the hard work you put in. And um, I think whether it's a music award, a music you know, performance where you get a standing ovation or you hit a home run and everyone's waiting for you to gather at the plate, I think it's still, it feels really special. You know, it doesn't really matter what you do in life, but as long as you really, you work hard and you get rewarded for it, it's just, it's a great feeling to know what you put in, you get out.